All right, welcome back to Call of Pripyat, everyone. I'm going to I'm going back to Kapachi and then the Ash Sheep to collect a stash and put down a scanner. I just went to Yanov to do some some buying, some selling, some repairing, some modifying. Remember that gun I got from the Freedom guy, the dead Freedom guy who was killed by a control. Oh, it's, there's another one. Why is there another one? Thank fuck it didn't see me. Oh fuck. I thought that was just like an event mutant. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. Okay, I really lost my train of thought. Right, yeah, the, the weapon that the Freedom Guy had. I, um... I think I'm gonna replace the TRS with that. And, um... I upgraded it a little bit. I gave it a nice scope, increased the accuracy. It just looks like a very good gun. <laughs> it sounds like someone's having a fight with it over there. I don't really care for it, because I don't have my RPG right now. So, I won't be much use, I don't think. So, am I, I, am a, I am going the right way, right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, there it is over there. There's Kapachi. Right, I didn't finish off killing all the zombies, I don't think. Well, maybe I did. I can't see any. These... Oh, no, no, there's one in here somewhere. Show me the way. Show me the way. Not inside. I don't think. It could be inside, or it could be on the other side of the building. Um, it looks like the stash is going to be around this digger. So, uh, if I could have a look inside. I really want to find this thing, though. I really want to find this last zombie, or his... Ooh, yeah, found him. Where did you go? Where... Oh, there you are. Come on. You dead. I'm actually getting quite low on this ammo now, so I think next time I'm in Yanov, I might just uh, put this back in the box and wait for some more ammo to spawn. Let's go see what this guy had first. What did you get? Oh, you got an MP5. Oh, you got a shotgun as well, so I'll take those. And uh, that too. Okay, so I'm apparently looking at the stash. It is this digger. So there's something around this digger. It might be under it. Somewhere, or inside, maybe? Oh! I think I was right, actually. I think it's inside. Can I, uh... Yes! Pick up item. I've got the pick up item thing, but I can't pick anything up! Right, there's gotta, there's gotta be a way in here, come on. No, right, that'll do. Yes, okay, medical supplies. And, um, I think a, a scanner? Uh, oh yeah, a, a detector, yeah, Veles detector. Veals detector. Valet detector. One of those. Right. So, let's just check Kapachi out, to be honest. Killed all these bloody zombies trying to get here. Just for that silly little stash. Might as well see what's inside. There's not a great deal so far. up here possibly just a big hole in the roof ah what what's that for why that little indentation what's going on what would you put there like an extra brick uh, hold on hold on there's someone coming someone's a someone's around this area I suppose I'm in the best place to just see who he is maybe there somewhere was it that guy I saw walking next to the hang on I might be completely blind, but I cannot see anyone. No, that's a flesh over there. You know what? Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at all, because I am going to... Not assemble a squad. I am going to place the scanner in the anomaly, and that's... Uh, just up here. Oh, that's that's the guy. Oh, another, another guy from duty. Okay. Well, if he's going, I'm going. I'll follow him. Can I go up there, or do I climb? Can I climb? Now, how come I couldn't do that in Zaton to get up the plateau? Oh, this is promising. How far away? Oh, I'm, I'm very close to this thing. And um, that guy is going to serve as my protection, so I think I'm going to get the bolt out and just 
Have a little look. What we got? Looks like there's fire up here, judging by what I just saw. Somewhere. Yep, yep, okay. Right. Artifacts. Now, since the last video, I've got tons and tons of messages, and I think I read every single comment, so... I've got lots of little friendly hints and tips. Most of you are really annoyed that I, uh... I sell all the artifacts I get, or most of them at least. So I'm going to try and pick some up and and maybe save them for Beard if possible. Right, okay, um, i got to get pretty much right ahead of me. It looks like I can go this way. Okay, put the scanner down. Excellent, okay. For some reason I just feel safer on top of this table. Right, there's... It looks like there's three, three artifacts here. Just, they're going to, they're moving like mad. I don't get it. I can't see them though either. So, whoa, whoa, shit. <laughs> Retreat to the safety of the table. Okay, oh, what was that? Oh, I think I just found one. One came to me. Well, let's hope the other two are gonna do that. There's one over there somewhere. It, it stopped moving, actually, so... Can I just go and pick it up? What is that? It... What? Whoa! That, that's one. That's definitely one. Grab it. Okay. There's one more. There's one more. Okay. Ah, uh, this feels really stupid. I, I'm gonna burn to death. Although, this suit is pretty good, to be honest. Look at that guy. That guy's such a boss. He just does not give a fuck, does he? All these graves around here. I guess that's why they call it the Ash Heap. Oh! Fuck me. Right, let's heal. Wow! Oh, God! Save me! I might just leave. This artifact might be a little bit too hard to get, to be honest, so I don't know. It's over here somewhere. Damn, it's hot around here. Hey, ah! Over here somewhere. Is it the thing I see bouncing around every now and then? I think it might be. Oh, here we go. Oh, ah! Jesus Christ. Ah! <laughs> it's a good thing I'm wearing this suit rather than the uh, uh, the other the, the other one I had because that would have just that would have burnt, been burnt to a crisp. Right. Okay. Let's uh, let's just have a look at what I've got. Right. Okay. So I got three artifacts there. Two of them are the same. What are these? Mama's beads. So they got plus two wound healing, which is pretty good, I guess. Plus one radiation. Okay. Okay. The other one is this one over here. Eye. And that, that does the same thing. It's just everything's doubled. That's plus four and plus two. Hmm. Interesting. I think Beard was after an eye at some point, to be honest. So I'm, I might pay him a visit at some point. Um, right now, though, it's getting quite dark, so I think we go back to uh, either the scientist bunker or Yanov. So, is, are there any more missions for the scientists? Is that the cutoff point? Is that it? I think. Yep, I put this. I put a scanner in every single anomaly now. I think so. I think that's enough for the scientists for now. Let's go back to Yanov. I don't particularly want to be outside when there's a chimera roaming about as well. Especially not in the dark, that's when they start to hunt, right? But yeah, when I think when I get back to Yanov, I'll, I'll visit my personal box. I'll put, I think, all of the artifacts in there. Or maybe... Well, I've got two of these, haven't I? I might sell one, because I like the cheap money. But I'll put, um, I'll put one of the Mama's Beads and the Eye inside the personal box. And I'll just start collecting artifacts, and at some point, I'll, I'll take them all into my inventory and have a trip to Skidovsk and see what Beard wants. See if I can sell them to him for a load of money. That's the plan, anyway. And also, because I'm running out of ammo with this thing, I think I might just get the other gun out. The gun that I haven't used before. All right, all right. Rules are rules. I know, I know. Right. 
Will you buy some mama's beads? And the detector, because I don't want another one. So that's a thousand. Excellent, okay. Uh, oh, hang on. What did that say? Oh, yes. Ammo and medical supplies. 2129. How awkward. Um, right. 5400, really? So what's, what's the I then? 10,800. Wow. So if Beard wants that, that'll go for a hell of a lot. Like 20, 30k, probably. Hmm. <laughs> right, well, yeah, I'm, I'm going to sell one now. Okay. The other, the other two are going in my box, so that's what we're going to do. I'll never get used to that weird accent he's got. Right, so here we go. This is what I did with the gun. You can see at the very bottom it says accuracy plus 10, Roy recoil minus 10, and um, a 1.6 reflex sight I put on it. And it's pretty cheap as well. So, uh, yeah. What we're going to do, I think, is we're going to put this back here and that back there. Take this out with, well, yeah, with some ammo. 360 should probably cover it. Um... Maybe I should sell the Eliminator as well. Yeah, go on, I'll sell the Eliminator. I don't think I'm ever going to use it. The, the Predator's incredibly good. But what I'm also going to do is put the eye there, for instance, and then just shove that there. Or there, apparently. Can I put it down there? There we go. Move that up. There we go. There we go. Everything's neat and tidy, kind of. But, um, yeah, I think that's, uh, I think that's a pretty good system. But, yeah, I am going to go to sleep now, so... Good night. I will see you at 10 a.m. More medical supplies and more ammo and more hunger. So, om nom nom. Right. Just out of interest, what we got? Oh, we actually got a few more. Still, though, I want to give this a go, so I'll, I'll leave that in its box for now. Let's go up and sell the Eliminator first, before we do anything else. And I suppose, um, we've got to find something to do. But first of all, Hawaiian. Please buy this amazing gun. 22 for now. It should go for like 4,000 or something, shouldn't it? Yeah. I'm probably not going to get a better deal, honestly, so yeah, there you go. And what does he sell this for? 7,200. He's already put the price up. Son of a bitch. Okay. Alright. Well, um, I think I'm good to go. I just don't know what I'm going to do. I do not know. Which area is this? is the freedom area, right? Yeah. Hi. I'm listening. How you man. doing? You're listening. Uncle Yar. Good day to you, Stalker. I'm Uncle Yar. I guess you're tired from the road, eh? Have a bite to eat, since you're here. You chose a good time to show up, too. I need some help. At my age, there are things I can't do on my own. Back in the day, though. Oh, what a nice man. He just. He just gave me a tourist breakfast can. That's a bribe. Why is he bribing me? What's the job? Easy as pie. The two of us make our way over to Capachi. It's not far from here. The rest you'll see for yourself when you get there. Okay. Well, I know all about Capachi. Boring as hell. Uh, why won't your freedom friends help? He doesn't want to bother them with this stuff. Apparently, the two of us can handle it no problem. Um... All right. Yeah, sure. We'll be back before you can say bloodsucker. Ah, <laughs> uh, bloodsuckers again. God damn it. <laughs> it's always bloody bloodsuckers. All right. Okay. The main thing is, don't be surprised at anything. Follow me quietly. If we keep it hush hush and don't move, things will be nice and easy. Okay. What are we? What are we doing? I'm just going to stick close to him. That's my mission, apparently. What does this say about it? Just, yeah, just stay close to him. Jet! <laughs> I probably should do that. Looks like a quiet village. Unless we disturb the local residents. You're referring to the zombies? All of whom are dead? Like, well, of course, they're, they're kind of zombies. But, you know, you know what I mean. They're all gone. 
I destroyed them with my Vinteres. So peaceful. It's like a resort. Yeah, you can thank me later for that one. Also, in the comments and messages I've received since the last video, I've actually uh, been told that I, if I complete some more uh, scientist missions, I'll figure out how to how to get into the uh, the cooling tower. Was that what it's called? Or I can figure out what the uh, the call for help was about anyway. I also have a pretty good idea of where to find some new tools as well. And they're not basic tools. I think they're either fine work or calibration. So I might We're almost there. I might go uh I might go get them. Somewhere near the Jupiter plant, I think. Why are we walking? Can't we just hurry this up? There's no one here. No one! Maybe if I didn't kill all the zombies, that then this would have been a bit more of a challenge, but no. There's there's still no one here. What the hell are we doing this for? Am I right in saying that I used this in Shadow of Chernobyl, by the way? It looks like a pretty... I think it's a, a similar gun to what I used, anyway. And that scope looks pretty nice. Right, are we meeting someone up here, or what? Are we going to commit suicide together? No? No? Oh. Okay. Let's Sniper rifle. I was right. He's shooting someone, isn't he? Oh! Oh, who are they? Who are they? Couple of exoskeletons, three mercenaries, five mercenaries, I assume. I think the mercenaries. We're killing them then, are we? That would explain the sniper rifle, I suppose. Nice shot. That was even better. Oh, Jesus, okay. Oh, shit, okay. Whatever the guns they've got, they're pretty good. Did Whoa! Whoa, shit, I've... I fucking saw him throw a grenade. I didn't think it would go this fucking close, though. Jesus Christ. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, he's thrown another one. He's thrown another one. Bloody hell, he's, he's got a very good throwing arm. That bloody exoskeleton. This isn't a bad gun, actually. I think it has a lot to do with the uh, the scope that I put on it, though. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Who are those two guys? I can see you're bursting with questions, and I can understand that. Let's have a little talk, shall we? You'd make a very good ventriloquist puppet. Yeah, let's have a talk. Six thousand? Nice. Thanks for helping an old man out. Take this. If you have any questions, ask away. I'll answer as best I can. Stash coordinates as well. Not bad. Uh, okay, I've got to ask. What the hell did we do that for? What happened? Some lads came here to kill me, you see. I was hiding in the bushes, minding my own business, when a mercenary squad showed up. Their leader was yapping away on his PDA about a central lab in Pripyat. An urgent order, this and that. Then I stepped on a stupid branch and alerted them to the fact that I was there. So I grabbed my rifle and made a run for it. But I always had the feeling that they'd come for me. That's the price we pay for eavesdropping nowadays. So, why not ask your freedom guys for help? What's the point of getting the mercs angry with freedom? We had one war, and that was enough. This is a personal matter. No point involving them, you know? Alright, fair enough. Um, I'm still looking for a fifth member of the squad, so will you go to Pripyat with me? No. If I was younger... Oh, if he was younger. He doesn't look that old. He used to walk to Siberia and back. Jesus Christ. Alright, take care, I suppose. If you're going to Yanov, maybe we could go together. Uh, yeah, I suppose so. Or maybe I should have. Yeah, maybe I should have. I should have had a look at the exoskeleton guys. Look like they had nice weapons. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. I'm here now, anyway. Oh, thanks very fucking much. I'm glad you're not going to prep you with me, you prick. Uh. Right. So, any more missions? I'm still in search of Magpie. I've still got to find tools. I'm still looking for this Oasis as well. I think I need to investigate that more because, uh, despite reading a hell of a lot of hints and tips and comments and messages and stuff on YouTube, nobody's nobody's given me a hint for this one yet. And I kind of don't want one, but um, I don't know. Maybe I'll find it. You, you, can you give me a mission? Uh, 
Tell me about the... Yeah, tell me the story about the bloodsuckers at Zaton. Okay, apparently, when I was at Zaton, bloodsuckers made life real difficult for stalkers. Stalkers kept at them day and night, but it didn't help one bit. I decided to help them out, so I took my shotgun and went straight for the bloodsucker lair. After some quality time with yours truly, the bloodsucker problem in Zaton is all but over. He, he's bullshitting, because that was me. You, you don't even know where the lair is. Scram. <laughs> Deal with Flint. Well, there's a nice new mission. Okay. Kill the liar, I guess. Um, I can get some more stories out of him, I guess. Alright, shortcut to Jupiter. Well, the guide used to take a massive detour on his way from Zaton. I decided to go straight, so I did. I tried a few places and wor worked out the way through the anomalies pretty quick. So I sold that info to the guide, and now he takes everyone that way. <laughs> He's doing it again. How about we ask Pilot who got him the maps? Go spoo your horse shit somewhere else. Yeah, this guy is full of shit. I'm not going to talk to him anymore. But I've got to I've got to deal with him apparently. How can I deal with him? Apparently he needs to learn to mind his tongue. I guess maybe I can shoot him or something if he leaves this place. Right. Um you know what? There's always someone over here that we talks when I'm for them. No matter what you give them, they He says this every time I go to Nitro. Who not in. I think it's you. Their conditions is the only option we have. A stalker called Grizzly. And he's asking me to help get his buddy Mite out of trouble. Okay, what happened? Apparently Mite is in real trouble. He says the bandits have started putting... Oh, the fucking bandits. Oh, okay, I'm interested. The bandits have started putting their foot down and demanding a cut of the artifact stalkers find. We thought him to take a hike, because we figured stalkers don't know any nobody's shit. And that seemed to be the end of it. But they ambushed the poor bastard when he went hunting for loot on his own. And now they're demanding a ransom. Oh, sons of bitches. Is this going to be another checkpoint thing? Am I going to have to kill some bandits? I hope so. Torba, I guess that's the guy in front of him, is suggesting giving them an artifact as ransom. I reckon we shouldn't give them shit. If we do, that means stalkers are working for the bandits. We should sell the artifact, hire us a solid crew, and attack the bandit base. I like that idea. But what bandit base? And are they talking about the checkpoint? Because I kind of did that. Looks like I've got four options, though. Uh, we must negotiate. No! No, it's not going to be number one. This problem calls for a forceful solution. I like that. Our success depends on whoever drives this thing. I'll deal with the bastards myself. Okay, well, as much as I'd like to click number three, I think we're going for this one. Forceful solution. All right. Exactly. I know a few fellows who'd be happy to help out. We'd pay you too, if you don't mind going in as a team. Fine. Killing bandits as a team? Sure. Okay, um, talk to Grizzly. I guess I'm ready to go. So, yeah, I'm not doing anything else. Great. I know a group of stalkers who used to serve in a special police unit. You'll have to meet them at an agreed location after 1am. They'll be waiting for you. 1am, eh? Okay. Alright. No problem. I'll just go downstairs and sleep. Uh, so where am I meeting them? Oh, okay. Uh, it was 1am, right? It doesn't actually say. I think it was 1am down here. Okay. Is that it? Container warehouse. I haven't been there. Is that the bandit base? I don't think they're talking about the checkpoint, because... That'd be a bit of a daft meeting place, really, to go to the checkpoint. It must be the container warehouse. So I've got to go down there and meet them at 1am. 1 a 1 okay. Let's have a look. Does any of this need a... No, this all looks in pristine condition. So I think what I'm just going to go, go do is go downstairs and have a sleep. Wake up a little bit before 1am and um, go down there. Why not? I think 11pm should do it. That gives me enough time to go down there, I think. I'll see you in the next video.